Hello everyone. Uh, so previously, like uh, a week ago, uh, I was asked by one, two, three, four MW MMWM trainer, this guy over here. He asked me a question saying, "Can you explain how uncountable infinities are bigger than countable infinities?" So first of all, I'm sorry for being super late. It was like a week ago, but uh, I had exams in the university and also. The topic that you're suggesting is new for me, surprisingly new for me. Uh, so basically, I'll just try to solve your question, but I'm not very sure. And I always try to put what I'm sure about it on my channel. So I'll start by explaining the difference between countable and uncountable infinities. So <clears throat> basically, uh, most of the uh, some books like prefer to call countable infinities as listed infinities because basically the meaning of being countable is that in mathematics is that you can list these numbers, you, you just can list these numbers, or you can write them in the shape of function where you, like you plug the natural numbers and you get exactly all the infinities if you keep going if you keep going to infinity, like if you had an, an infinite list that goes to infinity, then you can start listing these numbers on, while for the uncountable, even if you had an infinite list, you cannot write all the, uh, you cannot list all the uncountable numbers. And basically, let me compare these two by comparing two of the main functions, one of the most, uh, two of the main sets uh, one of the most famous countable infinities is the natural natural numbers. Basically because uh, if you have like, uh, let's say we have a series that starts with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and goes to infinity, then we sh must have a number in front of each one of these that represents a number in this list. So basically for the natural numbers the function is x or n or y equals x. So basically the first natural number will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and goes also to infinity. And that's basically the definition of being countable. Like you can also have like another uh, set of uh, countable infinities where you multiply by 2 or you add 1 or you divide by 6. All of these are considered countable. While for the uncountable, if you have 1, 2, 3, 4, and even if it goes to infinity, you can't find each number. Like, for example, for, uh, if we had an example for the uncountable as the real numbers, it's like the most famous uncountable set. No matter how much you try to list all the numbers, you will keep, like, if you have a function that will help you do this, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 goes to infinity, and you think that you, that you have a function that will, whenever you plug these numbers, you will get all the real numbers listed, then you must be wrong, because definitely, no matter what this function, you are going to mess a number. No matter how sure you are about this function, you'll always miss. So basically, uh, let's answer 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, whatever his name is. His name is too long for me to remember. Let's answer his question uh, to prove uh, how some uncountables are larger than countables. And basically, I'm just going to compare the real numbers. Oh, you can see, sorry. The real to the natural. So uh, basically, if we have this line that represents all the real numbers, if we take the natural numbers on this line, you'll have like 1, 2, 3, 4, and it goes to infinity. And also for the real number, it goes to infinity. But you, you can, like, we can name some numbers like 1, uh, 1.5, 2, uh, let's say 2.19468, uh, 
like let's say here we have 5.6687 I was going for the third six but I don't want to <laughs> 7091925 so basically you can have all the real numbers over here but it's very hard to list them and why do we consider this infinity larger than this infinity because basically let's say we stop at a number like let's say 13 like let's keep it 12 uh, let's say we stop at 12 then we have only 12 natural numbers while we still have infinitely many uh, real numbers because even if we had uh, to list the real numbers between 0 and 1 we have infinitely many real numbers while for the natural numbers we can still count them and have a limited number and even let's say we don't stop at any number let's say we keep going to infinity on the same line we have one, two, three, up to infinity, four, five. And these are the natural numbers. We have infinite infinity, but if we go, if we consider the real numbers, if we like, when we are going to infinity, basically we have infinitely many, <coughs> many. Uh, real numbers between each natural number. That's why we have much more real numbers than the natural numbers. They both go to infinity, but in fact, like we have infinite series, like the natural number is one series, and the real number is basically made out of infinitely many series between each natural number. That's why we consider the real, known as uncountable, larger than the natural which is a uh, countable uh, set of infinity uh, I hope that I can answer your question maybe you won't find it very useful because as I said it's a new topic for me but it, was, it is very interesting and I wish I can study more about it and keep putting more videos about it if you think that there, uh, there's something wrong in my proof it's okay you can say it in the comments but that's like I think this is a good answer and it explains pretty much the countable and uncountable and why do we consider some uncountables larger than countables and remember if you have any question put it in the comments section and I'll be solving it. Uh, of course this one took me a week but basically I always try to solve as fast as I can. Uh, mostly the reason why I'm late is because of the exams but also it might be because of the topic itself like in this time. But uh, don't worry to, uh, don't forget to like this video if you really find it useful and subscribe to my channel and if you have any question put it in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.